You're not helping me. Okay. Mm. So it's Monday morning. And Doesn't this feel normal? You and I both shut off our alarms. But I didn't feel very good last night. I couldn't wake up enough to get up to take time off. I kind of had a fuzzy headache off and on all last night. And you can see I have dark circles under my eyes. And I'm really stinking tired still. Just like overly tired. But I am going to try to run after I take him to school because then maybe that'll only a boost. Just. This class or like a Miss class. And remember, because I want to be father of the year, if we'll start a calendar up there, on the calendar we'll mark a day off for you every day on the calendar, okay? When you have you one full week stick your feet out, of please. days at school where you get a Skittle, no timeouts, you then become eligible for... A video game. Feel your face explode. Really cool that's not good. <laughs> Hand zero energy today. Well let's go see if we can find some. Okay. Um. We did a mile. And I don't feel like I'm gonna pass out. That's good. Yeah, so a little back pedaling because I didn't run spring break week and I didn't run last week. And I really wasn't motivated to do it this morning because I don't have very much energy, but I feel better after running than I did. What was that, 30 minutes ago? Yeah. So, that's good. And what um, we were talking about? I realize that I'm very frustrated at people who don't believe that I'm going to be okay. Like, that their first response when they find out that I've had a brain tumor is, well, 80% of head cancers come back. And I'm like, no they don't, mine's not. So, I just... I don't know. I have a lack of patience for people who don't have faith that God has complete power to heal and do whatever he wants. And that's something I need to work on. But I also, I think I need to have compassion for those people because most of them who say stuff like that have been through some really rough stuff, like lost somebody to cancer. But my immediate response is just that I'm going to be fine. I don't know. I just... I want to spread like encouragement to people that if you trust God that he's capable of doing anything. And I haven't give up and I believe that I'm already healed and that I'm going to stay healed. So we're going to go. Uh, and meet with our real estate agent and talk about the house. I think we're kind of winding down the process now because if we don't uh, hear something, you know, in terms of price or whatever, we're pretty soon or basically priced out of the market. I mean, what reality is maybe there's somebody out there that can do this house and can afford to lose money on the deal, but this is our primary residence and, uh, you know, we're not doing anything fancy. We're just trying to get a livable and kind of unfortunate because we really love this house. No, just, we really like this house. We feel like it could be home, but at the end of the day, I mean, you know, we could love a $3 million mansion. That doesn't mean we can afford it. I think we're going to take Tater to Baby Zars us this afternoon to Baby play with the trains. Zars. That's what he says. Toy Zars us. Is, isn't Sutherland's the train place? Oh, yeah. Does he ever want to go there to look at the trains? No, I don't think he knows it. He's I mean, been there, he's been there once with your mom to a birthday party, right when this all started. He went to a birthday party there. I know Todd takes the boys over there all the time. I know. The, to the train store. Well, they moved it, so I've never been in there. I've never been in the old one. I've never been in the new one. Yes, the new one's open. Well, then maybe I should go check it out. 
I know, I kind of need to go to Baby Zars Us. So. Why do you need to go to Baby Zars Us? <laughs> because I need to price stuff for his birthday. Oh. A gift for his Ooh. birthday. His birthday I'd gift. Say sticks and rocks are cheap. <laughs> coal in his coal. stocking. Yeah, coal for your birthday. <laughs> I've got some in the garage for the big green egg. You could give him a whole bag for $5, $4. Here's your, here's your birthday present. <laughs> this is what you've earned. He has been promised a video game system for a four-year-old to get a video game system if he can get his behavior under control. Honey, you're expecting a whole lot from that child. I've got to come up with something. I'm dangling a big stick out there. <laughs> It's like a bunch of carrots instead of one. Uh, hoping that something will get his behavior at school turned around. He does a pretty good job. He does a job. <laughs> Alright, you're headed into work and I'm going to go pick him up from school. I am going to go to work. Alright. I don't have any choice. Okay, well you're already halfway through the day, so. Yes. First day back. And you're going in halfway through the day. First day back? That's not the first day back. No. Well, first full day back. It's something. All right, I love you. I love you. Have a good day at work. I'm going to have a good day at work. Okay, I'll have a good day doing what we do. I'm going to go keep this in sure. How was your day at school, man? Good. Did you get a Skittle? Yeah. Where are we going to go? Baby Zars Us. What are you going to do at Baby Zars Us? Play with the train. Are you excited about that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Foggy. Foggy today? Yeah. Can you see Baby Baby Zars Us? Yeah. I can see it in the car. <laughs> are you excited? Yeah. Me too. Okay. Okay. Do you know what that is? Wait a minute. Zoom down You're gonna zoom down through the mine? Here we go. Bye. Whoa! He pushed my guy. Hey, get on stuck there. Guys. Okay. Go. Go go off the mine and, and just zoom down, okay? Zoom down the mine. Um Oh, he down. went off the track again. Okay. I can go fast. Whoa. Whoa. He went through the mine door. Are you going to go through the mine door? No, Is it good? Found a little bonus down in there. What kind? The prayer. Okay. Are you going to pray it for me so I can hear it? Maybe when we get home. Maybe when we get home. Okay. Can I turn this off now? No, I want to film. <laughs> you want to film? Why don't I film more when we get home? Okay. Okay. Yes, you can. I'm going to film some me all by myself. Okay. I'm going to film myself. I can film myself if I do it. I can film, I can film myself. Okay, that would be great. Alright, I just got Tate down for a nap and I'm going to lay down too. Tonight, Sean and I are going to the cancer support group, so hopefully I get a nap this afternoon. So I have some energy. I felt better since I ran today though. So now I know that hopefully my energy is coming back and I'm not as worried about it. That um, if I can just get up and get going and get moving in the morning, maybe I'll feel better. So I'm a little more positive about that. Anyway, the dog's in there scratching trying to get under a blanket so I'm going to go lay down. Had a good afternoon with Tate. Okay. New calendar rules, okay? Yeah. Look, here we go. Is this where we're at? No. 
No, we're on the 7th. Oh. Today's the 7th. That is ready to get this week over with. Okay, so look, okay. you got to make it to this date. What does that date equal? X box. X box. Mm -hmm. Or play station. Play station? Mm -hmm. What does play station mean? Those video games. Video <laughs> games. <laughs> I know. That's this date, right? Okay, here. so okay. mark off the 7th. So you want to mark Put a it big off? smiley face on the 7th. Okay. Or a star. Where's the 7th? Alright, mark your day off. Oh, yeah, you do. Mark it off. Oh. How did mommy do it? You want me to do it? I'm good at marking days off. You want mommy to help you mark it off? Okay, mommy's going to mark it off. Smiley faces. Now look, Whoa. you got to mark off a smiley face every day to get a what? A video game. High five! On one day down. Yeah. <laughs> that means you gotta get a skittle every day. High five? You gonna do it this week? Yeah. All right. I am. All right. Okay. What were you gonna tell me? I'm just saying we're going to the cancer support group. Yeah. Are you excited? I am excited. They are so sweet and encouraging. Yeah. And I saw several ladies at the retreat this weekend, and they reminded me that I had met them at the last cancer support group. But it's only once a month, so it's really hard to remember names. Mm -hmm. And I was bad at it before, so. I'll claim pre-brain surgery deficiency and post-brain surgery deficiency of remembering people's names. Yeah. Right? Right. So today's been a tough day for you? Oh, I'm just trying to get back into the groove at work, and, and uh, so that's a little overwhelming. Yeah. The house stuff just I think if I hadn't put so much effort into trying to make this thing work and you know, hoping that something works out mm -hmm. I don't know hoping something good will happen yeah I get it it's money for the guy too but yeah the flip side is I'm not trying to con him out of his money <laughs> no we're just trying to be realistic yeah. But we've had to be realistic on the opposite end before, too, because we owned a condo that to get rid of, we actually came to the table with money to pay closing yeah. our closing costs. Well, and I think if we hadn't been through that experience, you know, knowing that we had to sell it for what it was worth. Yeah, and it unfortunately was worth a lot less than when I had bought it, so we've taken a hit before. Yeah. Yeah. But we were also realistic about the fact that we had an offer and we weren't going to let it get away just because we knew that it really was what it was yeah, worth. Yeah. And it's not even like a, you know, we're trying to insult this guy by our offer. It's a, we have ran the numbers. We have called five, six contractors now mm -hmm. to get estimates and they're all within 10,000 of each other. Yeah. You know, so even if we did it ourselves, we still could, you know, sub out the work and do the work ourselves any cheaper. None of it, honestly, is we're not talking about making this a fancy house. We've cut the budget down so far, you know, with ceramic tile. I mean, there's, it's not like we're going out and being like, yeah, we're putting marble in, or... I mean, there's no... There may be one spot that there's marble left, and that might be the entryway. I don't even know that we can do that. Well, we'll see. Point, but not that it matters, but... If we can't, it's okay, because I'll come up with a cool ceramic tile pattern with the little hexagon penny tiles. So, yeah. I've pretty much reduced everything to the same look, and probably more true to era anyway. It wouldn't have been a super, super fancy house if it were the preacher's house. It would have been livable, and it would have had a bathroom and a kitchen, which it does not right now. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have, <laughs> it doesn't have, the roof is bad, 
all of the wood floors have to be redone. I mean, there's massive holes that have been cut into them. It mm -hmm. doesn't have an air conditioning system. It has no electrical run to the house, no plumbing. Do you think it had an air conditioner in 1890? No. They didn't even have central back, you know, or central fan in that house. Uh, it was windows. I think that's why they put high ceilings, to draw the hot air up. That is probably true. Away from the floor. Mm -hmm. I never thought of that. Man, I've never thought of that before. That's pretty smart. That's just a snap right You do. I know a little bit because I'm a brain tumor. You do? So I, know I would not know that. Some of the secrets you're going to share in October are about the custom tailored viruses that go in there and eat the cancer cells. Right? Well, that's one of them. But that's so we're Jim Han is doing a little something. We're trying to get into that. Study. Yeah. Okay. But um, they've done all sorts of research on this. My dad had a brain tumor 17 years ago. Anyway, my husband is filming me because we are YouTubing my entire process. Let me get out. Wow. Okay. Tell me what kind of tumor you have. So I have a grade yeah. four glioblastoma, uh, and they operated. I had a seizure January 13th, and they operated, and they got 98% out of my right frontal lobe 10 days after that. And they just on Monday finished six weeks of radiation and oral chemo. And then I have four weeks off, and then I go three days off, five days on, and oral chemo. Six months or a year, I'm not sure if they've finalized the treatment plan. That's what they call brain tumor. Yes. And unlike breast cancer, at least when you were diagnosed, a Huxville brain tumor, Doctors, they have a way to communicate, so they are already doing that interchanging with UAB. So we have a doctor at UAB, but the team lead is here. So my radiation oncologist and my regular oncologist. So it was fun now, hearing you talk. Are you? I'm 31. Oh, okay, because you don't look 31. I was going to say, you need to be in St. Jude. <laughs> They're doing amazing stuff over there with Leo. Yeah. So. When it first started off, was there a question about whether you had a malignancy or whether it was just... In my mind, no, but yes, there was. Yeah, they didn't know if it was benign. They had no idea what it was. They told me there was a mass in my brain. But I knew because of my dad that I just knew that he had a distinct thing. Well, they turned his uh, grade 3 after the exam, which is what they told me at first, and then they upgraded it after they sent it off to John. So they told me it's three, and then they came back later and said, we're going to clap together. Yeah. So they were going to treat me as a four anyway, because they said, you're not going to help me, we're just going to attack you. So, I'm going to throw the book at you, girl. Mm -hmm. And they are throwing the book at you. So look at you. You're showing cancer with me. Right. Right. I think it's right. right. I went for a one mile run this morning. Yesterday was probably like my most low energy day after the radiation. I just had an awesome day. So look at you go. Well, thank you for being such an inspiration. You are going to do great things. I have a feeling this girl is going places. But you just know. It's like you said. There's just something like you know you're going to be okay. I don't know. Because people will tell you otherwise, but you just can't pay attention to the statistics. Nope. You don't. You don't pay attention to the statistics. Now I look back and I go, wow. Wow. I am a walking mirror. But when you're doing it, you're just... <laughs> It's a good thing. It's a good thing that you don't know very much because all you can do is just do what they say to do. Ignorance is bliss, but it's all about working as a team. You know, you got to do your part, they do their part. Yeah. So. And luckily, I've got this guy because he does more than his part. Yeah. <laughs> Friend. Well, how was it tonight? It was really good. Yeah. Yeah, the cancer support group was really, really great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Liz Hurley spoke. She is a local TV anchor, and she had breast cancer, what, 15 years ago? Yeah, she said 15 years ago. And back then in Huntsville, there were not the resources like there are now. And a lot of it is thanks to her because she's made great efforts. She's a very big inspiration because she's raised a lot of money to help bring research and. Um, just resources to Huntsville, specifically for breast cancer diagnostics to, to get the diagnosis quicker so people can get answers faster. And then it was fun chatting with her. Yeah. Did you have fun. a good time? Yeah, I always have a good time.
Now let's go home. Yes, I'm tired. Thankfully though, I'm not exhausted because I did nap today, so I don't feel as bad as I did this morning. So, my note to myself is to just get up and get going and maybe I'll have an okay day tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. It's got ocean water in it. I'm sorry. Blue ocean minerals, whatever that means. Here, so I'm curious. You gotta try it. And then... You got lime, or what is it, ginger? Yeah. Uh, or what is it? Kombucha. I got grapefruit slices. Wow. I also got a chocolate bar. I lived it up tonight. I like these grapefruit slices though. And I walked out of the store without them and she chased us down, thank goodness, because I would have gotten in the car and wondered what we had done with them. Hey, I'm gonna start buying this. Is it good? It's awesome. Can I taste it? Mm-mm. You were critical. <laughs> no. <laughs> If I said no to every time you were critical of something that of me. And it's only five calories. It it's smells just, coconutty. It's just the right amount. I'm still I'm still a little nervous about it. Well, you'll be nervous after you taste it. That's good. And it's got just a little bit of fizz. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Alright, you win. I win. You were right. Okay. I'm right. <laughs> Bing! Just remember Nutri-Grain bars. Mm -hmm. I'll just remind you. That'll be our secret code word. What are you talking about? Nutri-Grain bars. I'm going to turn that light out. Mm. There's enough light in this parking lot. We can still see your face on the record. On the record. On the record. On the record. You were right. The coconut probiotic water is good. All right. It's Monday night and it's time to go to bed. And thankfully, even though this day started out very sluggish, after I went for a run, I felt much better. And I went to... Baby Zars us with Tate and played trains and had a good time. And we went and got frozen yogurt too because he had no time outs at school today. And then came home and he had quiet time and I took a nap. And then Sean and I went to the cancer support group tonight and that was really good. Got to meet Liz Hurley. She's a local news anchor. And she does a lot, a lot of good work to help fund breast cancer research and awareness and just the availability of resources here in Huntsville so she was very inspirational because she's 15 years out from her cancer experience so today was a better day and I think tomorrow if I just get up and get going and get past the tiredness hopefully it's kind of like it was at the beginning of radiation where if I just get moving, I get over it. Anyway, thanks for all the encouragement because a lot of people have already cheered me on and said, don't be hard on yourself because I am hard on myself. But it's really nothing I can change. So thank you for reminding me that. And I hope you have a good week. Good night. What just do? Everywhere we go, I cannot. I can't sing the line. Or drinks into my mouth without landing on my shirt or my lap. You always have a stain on your clothes. I am the laundry expert, thanks to you. I actually did laundry today and everything. I know. Just wash that pair of jeans you're wearing, and then what'd you do? You dropped a hot wings in your lap.